Okay, this is lesson four, working with data sets, the exercises. And so <clears throat> what you have to do first is you have to execute this statement here. So you have to get your data set set up. And if we look at it before we execute, we say, oh, so we've got 12, 13 subjects, and they're going to be in one of two groups. So this would, for example, would be about my placebo group and my test group. So we're testing the COVID vaccine. The only way you can really test is if you have some people who think they're getting the vaccine, but they're not. Okay. And so you, uh, it's a, a difficult thing in medical research. Okay. So if we do shift enter on that, you'll see that it didn't work. Okay. And why didn't it work? Well, because we're missing that last square bracket. So we try again and we get our data set set up. Okay. So we have our 13 subjects in two groups and they have different classifications. And so this classification might be their overall health status, you know, from you know, young and healthy to old and teaching in middle school. Okay. How many rows and columns are there? Okay. So we're going to take that data set okay, and we're going to say dimensions. Okay. So let's try that. So we say dimensions comes up and it's a lowercase data set. Okay. And we end with a square bracket and we set it off and we say 13, three. Okay. So try and think in terms of rows and columns. We have 13 rows, three columns. And so there's our data set. Okay. That was 4.2. Now use to only show co values in column B. Okay. So I haven't done enough to, to know exactly what to do. So we want to have just column B. And so we could do that double grouping with two. Let's see if that's what works. Okay. So we're going to say data set and we do the double um, brackets and we say two. Let's see if that works. Okay. So that doesn't work, does it? Right. So what did that show? That showed the second subject. Okay, so then we say, oh, okay, I remember what to do. Okay. So I do my double column. I'm going to do all, comma, I didn't like that, so I try all, and it likes that, right? So notice how I couldn't remember if it was all caps or not, but the program prompts us and helps us to say, when it stayed blue, I wasn't typing in a word that it knew. Okay. And so now we say, let's try this. Let's try all column two and see if that works. Okay. And that just shows all the groups. Okay, so it shows that <clears throat> everybody's in column one or column two. And let's just say, well, what if we ask for everything in column three? So remember, those were that was numeric. And so there it is, data set all three. And we could even do data set all one, and that should give us one through 13. And it does. Okay, okay so select in column C is equal to or larger than four. Okay. And so <clears throat> as always, best thing to do is go up and and copy copy something, right? So we have our group by, we have our subjects, and let's see where we had our um, select statement. And so you go up and say, okay, I'm going to go up and there's a nice select statement. And so I'm going to take in fact, I'm even going to grab this longer statement, okay, because it might be similar to what I need. Okay, so I'll go down. So there's no shame in not, you know, you've seen something once. It doesn't mean that you know every single command, okay? So we have data set again, we're going to select, and in this case, we're going to select from column C. So we say, okay, select when C is equal to or larger than and we'll say, well, let's see if that goes. We'll try greater than. I'm going to type a greater sign and an equal sign. And notice how uh, Wolfram's pretty smart about that. And we say four. And then we say, well, we don't need these other things. We're just going to select these rows. So let's see what happens. Okay. So it looks good. We try and select those rows. And we get the rows. And we look, and C looks like it is indeed greater than or equal to four. Okay, and you say, well, let's see if this is really working. What if I say greater than or equal to one? <coughs> we try that, and we get a bunch more. 
<coughs> so now we say, well, well, well we only want to do rows <coughs> two through four. And so say, so how do we do that? Okay, so then we say, well, I wonder if it's this, two semicolon, semicolon, four. So we so say, let's try that. Four columns. <coughs> and we don't really need to do a select. We just want those columns. So, <coughs> so if I go up, So we had uh, something like that where we specified what we wanted to see. They said, oh, column one, column two. <coughs> okay, so, so here's something that's close, right? So what's this? This is a data set two through five, it's column one. So let's see if that's close to what we need. Okay, so again, we're just finding something that's similar. We're gonna change it slightly. Okay, so we're saying columns two, okay, so we want columns two through four, so we have two through four, and we want columns B and C. And let's see what we do there. And so, Let's see if that works. And we'll say all we want. So we can get column two. <coughs> Let's see if we can get column three. So we can get column two or column three doing that. But now we say, well, we know that it probably has a way to do more. So we could do a select statement and get to, we could say, want to select based on column and take weight and age. We can say all, and um, let's see if we can do two things. Oh, we probably need a, a set. So we say, let's try it with a set, okay, with a list. Okay, so we go down here and we say, well, you know, it wasn't working to um, column two. But what if we say we want columns two and C, or we want B comma C? Okay, let's see if that works. So four rows, two through four, give us columns B, C. Let's see if that works. Okay, so that's not a valid part conversation. <coughs> it could be, so we could try this, B, comma, C. So we could say that's the titles of it. And if we do that, ah, so it like that, right? And then let's see if we could also do this. If we could say, well, what about two comma three? And it likes that as well. Okay, so you see what we did is we said either the number of the, of the column or the title of the row. But if we put the title B and C, we had to put it in quotes. Okay, now. It says, okay, that worked, but now we just want two and four. Okay, so let's see what we do for that. So we just want two and four. And so let's see if we can do two comma four. Two comma four and... Okay, so you notice that didn't work. So we say, well, okay, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try a list. So I'm going to say, okay, um, if it's not a range, it's a list of values. So rows two and four, uh, 
columns two and three. Okay, so that seems to work. Okay, so for subjects two and four, I got that. Okay, but what if you said I want everything? Okay, could I do one, two, and three? Yeah, I could, and then I see it's subjects two and four. Okay, what if I said, all right, this seems to be working. Let's just do two and four. Will it give me all without saying one, two, and three? And it will. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so now we have to do the mean for values in 1, 2, and 3. <coughs> so let's see if we can search. <coughs> so, <coughs> so here's a mean. We see a mean in group by, and let's see if we have... So, here's one we want to try. Let's try this. So, we're going to say we want a mean on a certain column. So, let's give that a try. Okay, so we have a little bit different. So, ours is subjects, it's data set. <coughs> let's give that a try. So, data set, mean for column C. <coughs> okay. And, um, well, you might say, well, does that seem probable? And we'll say, well, let's, let's try it. And we'll say, say, all. Let's see. <coughs> and we'll say, okay, there's all our values. 3.072. Okay, seems, seems possible. Okay, so we want to make a list of the values and store it in <coughs> C. Okay, so let's see how they did that. <coughs> so it looks like um, it might be this normal. Okay, so we copy. So look what I'm doing. I'm going to copy this. Okay, so I'm not trying to act like I know all this. <coughs> I go... Do I want close that? I say, oh, I want variable C. Notice I even copy that. And I'm going to put that there. So, and I do normal. And what I have is data set. And I'm going to say that for C. Okay. And there is my data set normal. And so now you're kind of curious as well, can't, what if we do the mean on this? What if I do a mean on variable C? Well, we'd expect to get 3.0762. Okay, we didn't, okay, that was because we didn't do the slash slash n. And when we do that, we get, <coughs> we get that. Okay, so, um, this, I think, will give you a little bit of a, a hint of where this course is going. Okay, so, um, after working with this, I've seen that well, we're going to try and do some similar work in spreadsheets. And uh, what you'll find is a lot of the things that you want to do, you can actually get via the spreadsheet. But, if you want to go beyond, um, there's more that you can do more that you can do um, with a programming language like Mathematica, which is uh, sort of the big brother version of this Wolfram Cloud. So give that a try, and uh, I think you'll find that if you stick with this 12 more, 12 more weeks, um, you'll be way beyond what you ever thought you could do uh, with the programming language. And with